Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily. And we are here to keep things simple and fun. Do you ever see those dreamy, beautiful Christmas tree pictures where you get the lights blurred in the background and you want to do something like that? Well, that's what we're gonna cover today. And stick around all the way till the end because we have something special just for you. By the end of this video today, we are confident that you will have some ideas on how to create beautiful holiday images. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications of future videos. So all of these images that we are going to show you, these holiday Christmas images, were shot with no lights on except for the Christmas tree lights. Okay, so we're gonna jump into each of those images we just shared with you and talk about how we got that look. So this first image here, first of all, again, all of the lights were off. That little sparkle was added that's coming out of the book was added in Photoshop. But let's dive in and kind of show you what we did for to get this image. Okay, so for this first image, what we did is obviously it was dark outside. We turned off all of the lights, shut all of the blinds, and pulled. I pulled my daughter out quite a bit from from where basically where you are from the Christmas tree just to get more of that bokeh effect. And then I had her put these lights. I used an extension cord. So they were all here, but she put these lights in her lap and hid them down there. And that was a night enough light to light up her face as she held that book. Now, just the one thing that we had to be careful of is that you could see the lights peeking out below her foot. So we kind of dropped the book down a little bit. So one thing to be careful of when doing a picture like this is that the lights will get hot. So the lights that we'll be showing you how we worked with lights in this picture they do get hot. So if you're working with a little kid, you need to make sure that they're very well aware that it could get a little bit warm. So here's a before and after of the image straight out of camera, which the white balance was all wonky. And then after edited, we'll share specific settings at the end here. Let's take a look at image number two. With this image, we used a snow globe and we're going to show you exactly how we got this. One thing, one issue we had with the snow globe is the snow globe's color changed from red to green to purple to all of these different colors. So we tried to be cautious of when we took the image, but it ended up being green at the time and we changed that in editing with that green part of the snow globe. But we'll show you right now how we got that. Okay, so for this second image, we had a snow globe. It changes color, which it's not ideal and we edited that out like, like we talked about. Um, and this was not enough with all of the lights off to light up her face. She was still very dark and we really couldn't see her face. So to fix that problem, we used a little flashlight and she turned that on and she hit it on this side of the snowman to help light up her face. And we had to play around with the angle of it to get it just right and, and the intensity just right to what we wanted. And we really tried to, in editing, match the color of the snow globe to the color of the light reflecting onto her face. Now we also put down this whiteboard because it's carpet here. Now if you have um, hardwood floor or anything like that, you're gonna get a really nice looking reflection from the Christmas tree lights and from the lights here um, in your image, which is really beautiful, but we don't have that. So I laid this down to get just a little bit of a reflection, just to give it a little bit more detail. All right, so taking a look at the before and afters, you can see it looks a little bit better, obviously, after edited, and we did change the color of that snow globe because it was a special kid snow globe that changed colors. We took that green out and made it look white. Now on to image number three. The only thing that really happened with image number three is that we left all of the lights off except for those Christmas tree lights to light up her face. Um, so really that's it. And then here you go. Here is the before and the after edit of that image. Let's dive in and talk a little bit about the settings that we used for these images. So this was, these were all shot with our Nikon D750 and we were using our 50 millimeter lens. We set our ISO to 500 being that we were indoors and we weren't using any sort of external flash or anything like that. We did bump up our ISO. 
Then we shot at an F 1.8, which really gave that nice bokeh in the lights behind um, the little girl. And then the shutter speed, we used a one over 100, which is somewhat slow, especially when you're working with a young child. However, in this instance, she was very still, so we were able to do that. So one little editing tip that we wanna give you, we use Lightroom Classic to edit these. We used the new Lightroom masking tool to select the background only to help darken it. Because if you look at the original images, you can kind of see the curtains in the background and we really wanted to get rid of the curtains and really just have it nice and dark in the background to draw more attention to the subject. Now, something that we could have or maybe would have done differently in this case is we would have grabbed our 35 millimeter lens because this would have be been even better to get more um, into the entire frame if we needed that. But for this case, I guess the 50 worked just fine as well. All right, take a moment right now and comment below and let us know what is something that you really want to try as far as holiday pictures go. So we hope that this video was helpful in giving you some ideas. If you are still new to photography, trying to learn that manual mode, struggling with it a little bit, make sure to check out in the description below. We have a free manual mode guide just for you. And if this video was helpful today, make sure to subscribe share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And if you don't already, follow us on Instagram for even more behind the scenes footage of us at sessions, and we will see you next time.